Hello, my name is Kieran Woods from Woods 911 and today I'm going to give you a look at this Porsche 911 SC 1983. We've got this car for sale, so I'm going to take you a walk around this car today and show you some of the beautiful features that this car has and show you it's in amazing condition. So you can see the car is black and it's a non-spoiler model, so uh, it's got the sloping back which we really prefer. It's got 9 inch Fox wheels in the back which are brand new and the 7 inch Fox on the front. See this car has got the chrome headlights around which are really cool. It's a real 70s kind of feature that people love nowadays and also the chrome door handles. This car is a one owner for new. It's got 85,000 miles on it which is very low for an 83 car and we just commissioned a full engine rebuild in this car so it's complete nut bolt engine rebuild. We'll show you in a second under the lid just how amazing this engine looks. So you're going to come over here, and uh, when I just grab the key, and you see I've got the original key, which is rare because sometimes you don't get the original key, and with these 911s it's all too often where the, the key doesn't even open or lock the door. And most people think, well sure, a key opens the door, but it, it doesn't really all the time in these cars, so just flick it, and bang, and it opens. And it's got that familiar snap when you open the Porsche door. It just opens so effortlessly and uh, closes really effortlessly. With a lot of 911s, you're, like, you're slamming the door to get it shut. And if you open the door, it sort of falls down. And a lot of, I know it doesn't seem like a big deal to have a door that opens and closes, but with a Porsche, it is a big deal. You get one where it just opens, snaps open and closes really nicely. So, uh, come forward with the camera. It's got the original Porsche uh, stickers there from the factory, which show you that this car is not rotten in this area and it's never been painted, that's all original paint and the interior in this car is absolutely amazing this is by far the best preserved old school 80's 911 I've ever saw on the inside the seats are like so supple I mean the person who owned this car from you must have been a really tiny person or else like a small girl because there's no way anyone big sat in this car because even like the, this part of the seat that still has all its foam totally intact and the leather, if you look at the bolster on the leather, it's not even got wear on it. You know, some I know cars two years old where the leather is in worse condition and all the carpeting is really, really nice. This car came out of America so the warm climate in the States has really preserved this car. Even in the UK, cars that are low mileage can be very badly perished just due to sitting around in garages and, and the damp weather and the moisture tends to perish things but with the dry climate in America this car is really nicely preserved even all the dash top and everything the head cloth the steering wheel the gripper all the clocks are all perfect no moisture in any of the clocks or anything like that and even the door cards with all the uh, the, uh, the carbon and everything still on them so I'll turn this on it's got factory fitted Oh, sorry, I have got the battery disconnected. It's got factory fitted air conditioning, which is a real plus, and it works. A lot of these 911s have ventilation systems that never work properly, and that can really be a really uncomfortable thing in a warm day when you're putting on the, the cooler and it's just blowing out hot air, so you're cooking in there, and then on a cold day, you've got no uh, warm air. So with this car, everything works nicely. It's got a lovely Kenwood stereo system that's just been fitted. Uh, I've got a receipt there for like a thousand pounds for that there, plus there's an amplifier under the seat. And those uh, came with speakers, got phenomenal sound off it, and you can plug in your uh, MP3 player into this as well. This car drives exceptionally well. The suspension and the brakes and everything are so well set up. Everything steers and brakes in a straight line, and the suspension itself still feels really solid at this car. Uh, th this literally drives like a new car. This, without a doubt, is the best driving. Uh, SC I've ever had in, ever. So it's got a 915 gearbox, again, no crunching. Normally these cars are crunching in second or they're crunched in reverse. This one here drives all through the gears and there's no ramming to get into gear. She, she takes every gear effortlessly, no crunching. And uh, this car is lovely inside, even like the rear seats and all the carpet. And uh, there's no perishing in anything. All the electrics work, windows, sunroof all the knobs and switches, there's not a thing, all the gauges work, there's really nothing in this car that's not working. And again, the shell in this car is absolutely rust free. We had this car up in the lift, we've power washed it with hot water, taken all the dirt from underneath it, and it just, it's brand new underneath. There's no rust in this car whatsoever. Uh, the kidney bowls, cells, they're just all, they're all as they were when they were new. So I'm gonna let you see the, uh, the engine, and show you what this is about. 
you look into this engine bay, yeah, I've got all all the nuts and bolts in this engine bay have all been stripped apart. We took sent them away and got them acid dipped and nickel plated. Got the whole engine all re uh, all the grease and anything that was on that engine from when it was new. Or so over the years was all like, completely dipped and cleaned. So this is basically a, a brand new engine. I've got the invoice for seven thousand pounds for like a rebuild in this engine. We've got it done by a Mark specialist, a local guy who's one of the top Porsche mechanics in Ireland who rebuilt that engine for us. So I know the camera probably can't pick it up too well right now, but this engine literally looks like a trophy. We've got all the rocker covers on the top. You might not see it in the camera, but we sent those away and got those polished to chrome. And if you see down here, I've got all the original all the original stickers and everything on here, which is a really nice touch. So this car is absolutely beautiful, and that the, that's the radiator for the air conditioning. And the, uh, the boot lid closes effortlessly as well. And uh, if you want to come around the front of the car, I'm going to let you see onto the front trunk. There is one thing I need to do to this car. I need to uh, replace the shock absorbers on the bonnet struts to make this stay up in place. That's the only thing I've got to do. And here we've got all the original carpeting. That's a trickle charger. So when you've got this car and you're not using it very often, you can plug this in and it keeps your battery charged. It's already connected to the battery. A little miniature set of jump leads there which come in that pack, which are just nice to have. Here's the original tool kit, which if you open this up, you won't believe the condition of this. Like all the tools are perfect. Everything's the goal. No rust on them whatsoever. Most UK cars will get the tool kit and it will be rusted to the core or the, uh, even just the little bag itself will be all like, sort of stained from the rust. So it's nice to get one like that, so beautifully intact. All the original carpeting inside. And pull this up. You've got the uh, original spare wheel unused. Inside here is absolutely no rust, none. Like in the, I've taken the battery out of it, we have a good inspection in there. There's no corrosion issues whatsoever. Beautiful day. The ultimate way to spend a morning is to go out in your classic Porsche. Just arrived here at the Rue Valley Country Park and I'm just about to meet my mother for breakfast. It's a beautiful June morning and I'm out in the Porsche today. Just gonna take it out and enjoy it and drive around the countryside. Sort of really why I'm doing this is I want to let you see the car driving around and show you that this car really is top notch and it drives like a dream. So stay tuned to this video and you're gonna see a little bit more footage of the car and uh, the, how this day unfolds. Here we are having breakfast. Not exactly very healthy, but uh, it's all they've got. Got a bit of salad here, so 
It's me having breakfast with my mother. That's where I get the good looks out of. Go, then lay off. Go, then lay off. 